Samsung's The Terrace First Outdoor TV Review. Please take 3 seconds to click the subscribe button on our channel for more upcoming videos. The new line of weather-resistant QLED TV is shipping now along with an optional patio-friendly soundbar. This summer the easing of coronavirus stay-at-home restrictions means you might actually get to spend some time at the beach or the park after all. Even so, the resumption of normal life won't happen all at once. Chances are you're still going to be at home more than usual and, yes, watching more TV than ever. And now Samsung has a TV that lets you do it on the veranda. Dubbed the Terrace, the new QLED television starts at a hefty $3,500 for the 55-inch size and goes up from there. That's roughly four times the price of an equivalent indoor Samsung TV and ten times as much as budget models cost, but for the outlay you'll get something designed from the ground up to survive outdoors. The Terrace is water and dust resistant, rated to IP55, enough to withstand contact with harmful dust and low-pressure water projected from a nozzle. Another slick feature is the built-in HD Base T receiver, which can pair with an optional HD Base T transmitter to deliver video from source devices inside the house, such as a cable box or game console, via a single Ethernet cable. If you want to keep your gear outside there's a special sealed, protected media bay designed for connected devices, 8.3 inches wide by 10.6 inches high by 1 inch deep. Of course the Terrace also has Wi-Fi and a suite of built-in apps, like the company's standard TV, which makes for even easier setup. Samsung also touts the TV's high brightness, 2000 nits, anti-reflective screen technology and adaptive brightness. Those features are typical for a high-end LCD TV but even more welcome outdoors where the image has to compete with sunlight. In my test Samsung's indoor TV perform very well in bright environments and I expect the Terrace to look as good as any TV can outside. Other picture quality features include 4K HDR compatibility, full array local dimming, 120Hz and Samsung's quantum processor 4K with AI. Speaking of looks, Samsung went with a standard matte black frame with a 10mm bezel and 59mm cabinet depth, which should allow the TV to blend in nicely with your outdoor ironwork. The matching soundbar, $1,200 price, model HWLST70T, is also IP55 rated, with sound tailored to the outdoors by the company's audio lab in California. It connects to the TV via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and also accepts Alexa voice commands, like Samsung's standard bars, but doesn't include a subwoofer. A special Terrace TV mounting kit is included with the bar. So is the Terrace worth the price? Samsung rightly points out that most people who want an outdoor TV, buy a cheap indoor set instead and put it on the deck. A couple of years ago I advised a family member to buy an indoor TV, for his poolside gazebo rather than splurge for an outdoor model, and it's still going strong. And here's a pro tip, protect the TV with a waterproof cover and unplug it during storms. Until now the biggest name in outdoor TVs was Sunbright and its sets are expensive too, starting at $2,000 for a 55-inch model. That TV is designed for full shade, so I'm sure the terrace is much brighter and likely performs a lot better. Either way, until these true outdoor TV come down in price it's tough to see most customers taking the plunge. With budget 55-inch models starting at around $300, you're still way ahead if one or two or five get fried by the weather. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more upcoming video.